Hello and welcome to CNM Money Switzerland's summer series where we'll, we'll be focusing on some of the key mega trends shaping the world of work. Today we're focusing on diversity and I'm delighted to welcome Valérie Vieira, the co-founder of Witty Works, a, a consultancy that helps companies uh, to attract more female talent. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. So you've been an advocate for gender diversity for many, many years. You've founded a lot of different associations and initiatives. So you've really had your ear to the ground on this subject. Uh, does tech still have a big diversity problem today? Yes, <laughs> um, I, I would say um, we have um, by far not enough female talents working in tech. It's only about 15% to maybe 20% in some uh, companies where we find uh, female, um, female tech talents. And if we, uh, if we um, look to all the studies which uh, have been done in the, in the recent years about the impact of diversity uh, in companies regarding innovation, uh, product and service development, um, yes, uh, we really have a lack of diversity in tech. And so where does WittyWorks fit into this? What are you trying to achieve? Yeah, so um, with WittyWorks, we um, really work with companies. We want to enable them to get more attractive for female talents. And um, we, uh, we are not um, a headhunting company or we don't do the work for, for this company, but we really want to enable them. Because um, in my opinion, uh, unconscious bias is the most uh, important um, factor why companies have problems um, with recruiting and retaining and at the end promoting women in tech. So what we want to do is, um, or what we do with companies, we um, try to de-bias uh, their processes and decision, um, uh, they, their processes and their decisions. And we start with recruiting. Um, think about job ads, right? So how uh, companies write their job ads, it's crucial um, who will then at the end send uh, an application. So we, I mean, because we really, often we talk about cultural behavior mm -hmm. uh, and changing um, corporate you know, inclusiveness, mm -hmm. but here you're really talking about language as well, so written language within the job description itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I think we are all aware that changing our own behavior is something who is really difficult, right? So. Um, and it's almost impossible. But what you can do, you can change the system where we are in. So, uh, or changing the way we decide or changing how we write. And la language really matters. And the traditional language which we know in, um, from job ads are, um, so the tra traditional language actually is a male connotated language. It's the language we used for um, um, the last 20 years, right? But uh, the, last, the last 20 years or 20 years ago, yes, we only had um, men in, in tech and IT, but today we want to attract different people, uh, not only uh, the white male or the white, um, uh, the white competitive uh, men and the male, um, the male connotated language is very competitive. But what uh, women are attracted by is a more cooperative language, uh, more a, a language where um, it's, uh, it's basically the language women also speak in their, in their, mm -hmm. in every day. And then also with, uh, you also work with companies on retaining that talent once they've, once they've actually recruited someone. What are the kind of typical mistakes that companies make or, or what kind of advice do you give them to retain the uh, Yeah, talent? I mean, there are, there are many measures you can take. I mean, um, changing, um, um, attracting diversity and then um, changing your culture to a culture of inclusion where everyone um, um, 
has the feeling of belonging and having an impact, um, there are different measures to take for, for achieve this inclusiveness. Um, and yeah, I, I come back to the point of language. Language, again, is a very uh, important thing. The, the way how I talk to people and um, maybe um, English speaking um, persons are not so much aware, but in German, when we say Liebe Mitarbeiter, this is, this is, a, this is the male, male form of employees, right? And there are still many um, companies who only talk about Mitarbeiter instead of MitarbeiterInnen. So this would be the, 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 female, um, the female word for employees. And we are used to that women are included in the male, uh, in the male word. But in before our inner eye, when we heard Mitarbeiter, it's not, it's not an uh, image of a woman we have or women, it's men. And this is something who goes through everything, basically, right? Yeah, so it's, it's stereotypes that built into the actual language itself. Yes, but there are also other measurements like um, um, part-time work or uh, job sharing or I mean there are still a lot of companies who think uh, you can only do your job in 80 or 100 percent and um, here in Switzerland um, unfortunately we have still a very traditional um, role uh, we have still very traditional roles that means uh, most in most families, um, uh, men work uh, full-time and women work part-time. And if we want to have more women in tech as well, we also have to offer part-time work. So it's, a fa it's not even just a family uh, gender issue, it's a family issue here and yeah. I, w I would say so the Swiss system um, is not or is, is not so progressive, I would say. And um, partners um, who, who are married, for example, and have kids, they are actually punished by the tax system when they both work full time. So they have to pay more taxes, they have to pay the full price for daycare for their kids and so on. So, and, and, and this, this system, is still something who in, uh, in many families also prevent women to, to work more. Mm -hmm. So we have, th there, are dif you know, there are different dimensions um, why we have a lack of, of women in, in, uh, in, um, in tech. And how about um, uh, at an education level? How do we get more women uh, studying STEM subjects? Yeah, so, and this is also one reason uh, for having a lack of women in tech. It's, it's the image of the whole um, of, of, of IT and tech, right? We still have, um, we, we still have this, this, this image of uh, young white, uh, guys sitting in a basement and uh, coding the whole day, right? And this is totally wrong because uh, the, the whole sector of tech is much more than just coding, right? It, it needs a concept, it needs design, it needs business analysis, it needs research, it needs a product owner or what, whatever. So this is, it, 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 it has become such a a broad uh, or a, a big, um, a big vi variety of, of different roles you need to um, develop products and services. Um, and I often have the impression that we, we as a whole sector don't transport this rightly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, and so, how do we, you know, how do we try and fix the, the system then? Yeah, um, there are some initi initiatives um, also for education, but it's not the it's not the the basic school uh, system from 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 the government. In my opinion, don't do enough because tech will really uh, tech will really be everywhere. I mean, it's already everywhere, but it will be even more. Yeah, right? and there are some new emerging 
elections as well. The World Economic Forum's latest gen gender gap our report for 2020 was flagging that women are still really underrepresented in, um, in emerging uh, areas of tech like cloud computing and AI. And I mean, do you, do you see this also coming through? Um, yes, and when you were talking, I had uh, two other thoughts. Um, why we have, what we also have to change is um, our own stereotypes. So, um, and we only can change, change this when we have more role models. So, um, we have women in tech and I think we should give them more visibility. So, we need more role models also in, in this uh, tech field. Um, in order to um, attract more women for this field because you may have heard about women follow women. Mm -hmm. So if we have more female uh, tech leaders, if we have more female employees and we see them even as, um, as kids, we also can imagine that, that this could be a path for, for, for themselves, right, or, or for myself. And, and so um, to, to kind of finish up with then, I mean, could this, I mean, how critical a situation is it for Switzerland that we don't have enough of these role models in tech and that we don't have enough women in, in tech at the moment? I mean, it, 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 it's critical uh, in that way that, um, I mean, today Switzerland has a very, um, has a has the image of, of being very innovative and progressive when it comes to um, innovation and uh, startups and technology, right? Um, but um, we really have to um, keep up with the pace, uh, also with diversity, with, because we are not not so good in that right now. So, so could this really make the difference in propelling Switzerland to become a, a leader in in innovation and and tech? Yeah, I mean, when we follow studies, for example, from the Boston Consulting Group, it, it shows us very clearly that companies uh, which have twenty at least twenty five female uh, leaders in their in their uh, females in their uh, leadership um, boards, um, they are ten percent more innovative, so they bring 10% more revenue from innovation compared to others. That means diversity uh, really is a, is a growth imperative, right? And what I, what, I, um, what I observe in the Swiss market is that this belief isn't here, because uh, lately um, there was a, a little uh, a study about how important diversity is for Swiss uh, uh, SMIs and there were 52% saying that, th that diversity, uh, they think that diversity don't make a difference for them. So, so I think the pain is not big enough right now. We, we don't really, uh, most of the, of the business leaders don't really see um, the issue why investing in diversity and, and inclusion. Okay, yeah, so a lot of work still to be done, yes. changing people's attitudes and, and just behaviour. Totally, and yeah. Valerie, thank you very much for joining us today. And you can catch all of our latest content on uh, this summer series on our website, cnmmoney.ch, and on all of our digital and social media channels, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Bye-bye.